Thanks, Nicole. The House Oversight and Government Reform Committee currently four hours into its IRS hearing. One of the committee members, Congressman Doug Collins, who is a Republican from Georgia, has stepped out briefly to join us with the latest. Congressman, thank you for taking a couple minutes out. I know they haven't gotten to your question yet. What is it that you want to know that you still haven't heard? Well, so far it's been a, a classic case, and I think it must be something in the air at the IRS because it's a classic case of, oops, I don't remember. And I think that's just been frustrating to the American people. And it's been said before, we got to, and I think it was just said earlier on your show, the IRS needs to remember who they work for. They work for the American people. They don't work up here as a, as a body that is designed to intimidate and investigate the folks who are actually trying to just do what they want to do and be able to express themselves. And this is what I've seen today is just that chronic case of, oops, I don't remember. So does it make you feel like we're not going to get to the bottom of this and most specifically whose idea it was in the first place? Well, I think we're going to continue to get to the bottom of it because we're going to continue to ask questions. And they can plead the fifth. They can say, I don't remember. They can say, well, we're not sure. But the fact of the matter is that they had preliminary reports almost a year ago. They failed to bring that back to Congress after Congress was asking on many occasions, is this actually happening? So we're going to continue to, to push forward on this. And it doesn't matter uh, because what we're asking for here is just a little honesty. We're asking for the American people to get the answers that they deserve. I know in the Georgia night, that's what people uh, expect. They want honesty. They want the truth. And this is exactly what happened happens when government can't be trusted and they're living proof right now of why government can't be trusted. Well then it has to be incredibly frustrating to you that Lois Lerner sort of tried to have her cake and eat it too today. She stood up and said she'd done nothing wrong, she'd done nothing illegal, that she didn't break any policies but at the same time she was going to plead the fifth and not say anything which to me means that she thinks by virtue of saying something it's going to reveal that she did something criminal. I mean how do you interpret that? Well, I think it just is her being cute, and I think that's just not going to play very well with the American people. I mean, when you're deeply involved in something, you plead to fifth, but yet you want to get up and say everything about what I'm doing here today, I don't, uh, I did not do, or I wasn't doing anything wrong. Well, the question is, if you did nothing wrong, then answer the questions. Answer the questions that's being asked of you. You chose to have a question planted so you could talk about it a couple of weeks ago. What happened today? So where did, do you uh, go from here with her then, in particular? If she's not going to, you know, she says she's not going to testify here, she's going to plead the fifth. What are your options from here to hold her feet to the fire? Fire. Well, I think we'll just continue the process, and as the chairman said today, we reserve the right to call her back and, and to have her before the committee, and then we'll just continue to, to put the pieces together. The interesting thing about this whole process is it seems that something comes out every day, so we're really waiting for what comes out next and maybe what comes out tomorrow, because you can't have something like this going on, targeting individuals, targeting groups who are expressing their constitutional rights and trying to play by the rules. You can't just keep doing this for so long of a period and stuff not continue to come out. We're going to get to the bottom of this. I hope so, Congressman, because it is appalling to all of the American people. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much. Take care.